we need to discuss the Diverging Diamond. For the last 10 years, the Diverging Diamond Interchange has been the darling of the road infrastructure world. Places have been adopting it left and right and seen great results, but people still seem to have a lot of questions about this interchange. What is a diamond and why should it diverge? Isn't it dangerous that traffic crosses over? Is it expensive to build? Won't it confuse people? Can we build it using existing infrastructure? These questions and more will be illustrated today while we discuss diverging diamonds. Everyone, thank you for being here. I'm Yumble. Let's talk about the diverging diamond. Here we have a standard diamond service interchange. It's a good interchange because it's inexpensive and it's relatively easy to build. It only requires one overpass in the middle. Both of the ends use a traffic light and it doesn't require any large loops or large land area to build. So this is a very popular interchange in more rural areas, I would say. The cons of this though, is, is that it's a very high conflict interchange. There are many conflict points where traffic must must cross one another. Uh, it's also a, I would say, a low to medium flow highway access option. Let's go over the conflict points and see where this interchange breaks down. Here are the more simple paths that traffic can take on this interchange. You'll notice in blue, all of the right turns can be made for free, so there's no conflict there. That's fairly simple on most interchanges. That's not where the concern usually lives, so no problem. The magenta path is for straight traffic, so straight through traffic that wants to go over the overpass to cross the interchange does not conflict with itself or the right turns, so that's fairly simple. And of course, the highway passes under grade separated, so it doesn't even touch the traffic on the overpass, which is great. Let's see how the more complex traffic movements interact with these already existing paths. This is where the problems really begin for the diamond interchange. Pictured in yellow, is the left turning movement from the highway. So on each side, you'll notice that it crosses the magenta potentially twice. So that's worth looking out for. But what's worse is that it actually crosses over the opposing left turn from the highway. So now we've added a bunch of conflict, but we're not quite done yet. Now we've really done it. The green lines denote where traffic turns left onto the highway. So that, that particular movement crosses over itself. It also crosses over the left turns from the highway. And both of those cross over the through traffic. The only movement that's free from harm is the, uh, free from conflict specifically, are the right turns in blue and the traffic that goes under the overpass entirely. So we have created a ton of conflict. And the way to manage that conflict is generally with a traffic light. What all of this conflict amounts to is a three-phase light. The first phase is traffic from one side coming out and being allowed through the junction, as well as left turns going onto the highway from that side. This is good because it, it alleviates one of the highest traffic points in the intersection, but it's also bad because there's a lot of downtime for the opposing side. You'll notice the right side is stopped the entire time while this movement is happening. The second phase is traffic coming in from off the highway, filling up the space left on the overpass. So this does rely on space, a wide enough overpass to support that movement. And then state three is the opposite of state one, where oncoming traffic from the arterial gets to come through and left turns are allowed onto the highway at the same time. This, of course, stops the traffic that was allowed to go in state one, causing more downtime. The three-phase light is about as optimized as it gets. I, I've opted for a fourth state on this one to allow traffic from the highway a second opportunity to, to get into the interchange. But what if there was a way that we could turn this into a two-phase light, get all of the traffic through in two phases, cut down time, and improve safety by also reducing the conflict at each of these junctions? In steps, the diverging diamond interchange. This looks very similar, but it's actually quite different from the diamond interchange. This is the diverging diamond. The key difference, the astute among you will notice, is that traffic on the overpass, in this case, is actually crossing to the opposite side before going over. That is one of the biggest draws to this interchange is that you can upgrade your diamond interchange, your old diamond interchange that can no longer handle the traffic volume of a developing area 
can be upgraded to this easily by using the same overpass infrastructure and changing the lane configuration to reduce conflict. Of course, I'll include a link in the description to this network, this six lane road with median opposite side traffic that I'm using from the Steam Workshop. Very, very simple to set up. But let's talk about why this matters. Why is traffic crossing over so beneficial to everybody? Mainly, I would say it's because the left-hand turn onto the highway is now free-flowing. You'll notice the traffic in the far left lane can get on the highway without crossing over the oncoming traffic. All of that conflict has been moved to the endpoints, which is great. It also means that traffic coming from the highway can get on for free. This, this lane here on the left is now getting on to the overpass for free without having to cross over oncoming traffic. This reduces conflict massively, and the result that we're looking at now is a two-phase light. All of the traffic from one side is allowed through, and then all of the traffic from the other side is allowed through all at once. This means far less downtime for everybody. Also, the reduction in conflict points means that there's less room for driver error and will result in less collisions statistically. Let's visualize this just like we did with the diamond interchange. In the diverging diamond, the right turns in blue are still conflict free, so they're allowed to turn right no problem. But now the through traffic represented in red must cross over itself on either side. So we've created a conflict that wasn't there before, but that's okay. This was always going to be at least a two phase light. So because of that, conflict in the, in the through traffic is not going to prove to be a problem. And here are our left turns from the highway. You can see in yellow marked here, there's still relatively low conflict. They don't have to cross over themselves. So you'll notice the yellow no longer crosses over the opposing yellow due to the fact that the lanes have swapped sides. So that's a really good thing. There is a bit of conflict with the red, especially in the, in the intersections at the ends, but that's okay. We've moved most of the conflict to the intersections at the end with purpose. I also generally choose to control the yellow traffic with a light to stop it from merging into the red traffic and avoiding a weave. But overall, still very low conflict for how much traffic we're moving. And now we have the final line that traffic can take. It is this green line that's coming from the arterial and making a left onto the highway in both directions. You'll notice that the green lines don't cross one another, and they only really cross the yellow at the ends because the yellow is signal controlled coming left off the highway. So any conflict that happens here is once again controlled by a traffic light, uh, but the greens have been separated from one another. So we've taken it from many points of conflict down to few points of conflict just by switching traffic over to the other side and moving the conflict to these uh, two points at the ends of the intersection. And here is the traffic light setup that I've been using for the diverging diamond. One side gets to go, so one side of the arterial gets to go. While they're going, the merging left turn on the same side has to stop to avoid that, uh, that merging conflict point there. Gets rid of that. But they're allowed to flow right out of the intersection by going left or straight. Meanwhile, the opposing left turn is allowed to go in to fill up this space. Then the opposite is true. The other side of the arterial is allowed to come into the intersection, the interchange, and the, the original left turning traffic gets to come out and fill up their side of the interchange, while the left turning traffic on that same side has to stop once again to avoid that, that uh, two lane merge there. I, that was kind of nasty. That's, this part is the biggest question mark in the whole thing, in my opinion. How do you handle the left turning traffic from the highway? There are a few different ways to do it. You could convert this to a three-phase light. Uh, you can let them yield, things like that. A lot of it still depends on how much space you have on this overpass, so, you know, there's a lot of different ways you could pull this off, though. But objectively, the diverging diamond is a better option overall as a directional service interchange for getting traffic on and off the highway in terms of cost, in terms of safety, in terms of traffic handling, in terms of conflict reduction. Um, across the board, if your state or your city and city skylines has money to convert its, its diamond interchanges into diverging diamonds, I would strongly recommend it. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out during this uh, diverging diamond discussion. 
I figured we could just sit for a moment and watch the diverging time and eat traffic, as it does, as it does. Um, big fan of this interchange. Everyone, feel free to check out a live stream over on Twitch. I stream twice a week. Uh, feel free to come over to the Discord if you'd like to talk about city skylines or post pictures of your city, that kind of thing. I'll, I'll be over there. And of course, subscribe here if you like city skylines content. I'm doing tutorials, builds, intersections, interchanges, just discussing the game and traffic flow in general. But that is all I've got for today. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Yumble. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.